Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is before here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Autocar Cobra with the tow missile launcher equipped on top of it. Now uh, the Cobra was a or is a infantry mobility vehicle developed by the Turkish firm Autocar which uses some mechanical components and subsystems of the HMMWV also known as the Humvee. Uh, the vehicle itself has a V-shaped hull which provides protection against small arms fire, artillery shells, uh, shrapnel and also to a certain degree against anti-personnel, tank mines, and IEDs. Front, uh, the front wheel arches are designed to be blown away to free blast pockets. So uh, overall really interesting vehicle uh, the sense that it uh, has some pretty good technology in protecting the crew and stuff. Looking at a vehicle of this size you don't really think it's going to be uh, very resistant to explosives and everything but according to a uh, video on the internet uh, the Cobra APC is shown surviving a direct hit from a RPG and the crew completely getting out of the uh, Cobra completely unscathed and everything like that which is quite an accomplishment for a vehicle to be able to survive an RPG hit um, of this size you know it is an armored vehicle and everything like that but uh, you know comparing it kind of like to the size of it to like a Humvee or something like that uh, Humvee definitely wouldn't be able to take a direct hit by an RPG and not, the crew would be perfectly fine. So uh, this is a really cool vehicle and um, you know our second uh, Turkish vehicle as we just did a tutorial for the standard Autocar uh, which has the machine gun mounted on top here. Um, so the way the tutorial is going to be structured is we're just going to be using the first five layer footage for the building of the standard one just because there's no point in building doing a whole new rebuild of that since it uh, is uh, you know the same thing. Um, so it's going to be using the same footage, so you may see the machine gun version right next to it and it's being broken on it up. Uh, but basically by the end of layers 1 through 5, you should have something that looks like this and you'll be able to just basically add the gun up on top here. And I don't want to redirect people to a tutorial for the, you know, this one to build the uh, vehicle going up. I want it to be, you know, that when you come here, you see this vehicle with a tow launcher, that's what you get to build. So. Uh, we'll be going through the full uh, tutorial of building this vehicle up and then obviously ending Slayer 6 through 9 which is where the difference is between these two vehicles and the different armaments equipped on top here. Um, anyways, uh, taking a look at the vehicle itself, it's pretty much the same as the Yotokar I just posted a tutorial on. But we'll still take a look at uh, what we got going on here. So we have obviously the front here, a little winch, uh, the front headlights, hazard lights, a little bit of a front kind of uh, guards across those lights to protect them. Uh, we have the hood up here with some vents, um, different stuff like that all the way around it. Uh, continuing on, we have the uh, driver, the, basically the driver windshield and passenger windshield and also side windows and stuff like that. A uh, little hatch on the side here, some spare tires, uh, little uh, slits here for the uh, passengers to be able to look through, I imagine. Uh, smoke grenade dispensers, radio antennas, back tail lights, uh, pretty cool suspension designs as they are kind of designed to be blown away. Um, so pretty cool stuff right there for the suspension looks real nice and of course the one uh, defining factor of this vehicle which makes it stand out over the other is the addition of a tow missile launcher equipped on top of the vehicle so overall pretty cool stuff and this is the standard tow launcher I've been using for a lot of my other vehicles and stuff like that so uh, they'll be pretty consistent all across the board so pretty cool stuff anyways uh, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial for the Autocar Cobra uh, tow launcher version uh, by beginning with our first layer, layer one. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer uh, number one. So for layer one, we're gonna go ahead and start off by placing down two narrow brick stairs. And these two narrow brick stairs are gonna be upside down, back to back, just like this for the start of the left front wheel. We're gonna go ahead and go to the narrow brick stair here, place down a stone brick top slab, iron trap door across, and then a narrow stone brick top slab. We're gonna place down another narrow brick upside down stair, and then another stair coming off the back of it like so. This right here is going to be the front axle in the front of the vehicle. Obviously our vehicle is going to be facing that way, so make sure that it looks like this and your axle is kind of toward more toward the middle of the vehicle and not sticking out here toward the front. Uh, with that complete, we can go and take some place order blocks and count out a space of one, two, three, and four blocks back from these tires. So the same thing here on both sides. We're going to place down a wooden trap door here on both ends, which is kind of like a little uh, rung or a little step here to get into the door there. Um, and then we can go and delete these place order blocks right here. And again, that's a space of four in between this narrow brick stair and this wooden trap door. Once that's done, we're going to go and skip a space of one and then place down another set of narrow brick ups and down stairs. So just like we did before, two narrow brick ups and down stairs, uh, just like this, ups and down, back to back like that for our wheels. We can delete those place order blocks and then what's left for us to do is to go and take our stone brick top slabs, place down one top slab here. 
iron trap door and a stone brick top slab like that so we're gonna have a back of our vehicle here the front like that and looking at it from above we should have something that looks just like this for the wheelbase of the vehicle with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer number one. With that, let's move on to layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, we're going to start off with placing down an anvil on top of this iron trap door, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. We then want to place down two narrow brick stairs back to back on top of the two narrow brick ups and down stairs, like that for the wheels, and we're going to go and do the same thing back here, so just like this. Once that's done, we're going to then place down an anvil here in the middle again, followed by a cobblestone wall again to both sides. We're then going to take our green hardened stain clay, place down a row of what is going to be six green stain clay blocks in between these anvils like so. And we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood stairs and place down a row of six upside down stairs across the side here. Same thing over here, just like this. Once uh, that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and go up to the front here, come off the anvil, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to this... Uh, dark or this wooden trap door to place down a dark oak wood fence gate open it up toward the stair same thing over here Just like this we then want to go and grab signs place down a sign here on both sides of this uh, Dark oak wood fence gate so the same thing up here Just like this on both sides of the fence gate like that for the little uh, rung there the little step uh, Coming back here to this section. We're going to place down a dark oak wood or a row of three of dark oak wood top steps to go across that goes across the back there just like that and once you have that done, you should get stuff that looks like this from up above. And with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer 2. With that, let's move on to layer 3. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number 3. For layer 3, we're going to start off by placing down a dark oak wood upside down stair that's going to go on top of this stair right up here on the front. To both sides of the stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down corner stair to both sides like so, so you get something that looks like that from the front there. We then want to place down a dark oak wood top slab that comes off these corner stairs up to the sides there and kind of for the fenders over the wheels. With that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the center uh, stair, and we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, dark oak wood fence gate. Now, coming off the center uh, stair right there, upside down stair, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, open it up toward the stair. On both sides of this uh, fence gate, we're going to go ahead and place down a item frame. So, just like this on both sides of the uh, dark oak wood fence gate. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a green stained glass pane in those item frames. Then for the front here, we're just going to place down a sign like that across. Uh, with that done, we're going to go to the corner stairs here on both sides. We're going to place down an item frame, place down a glass block in the item frame, and then out to the sides here, we're going to place down another item frame to both sides and an orange stained glass block in those item frames. We then want to grab ourselves some iron bars. We're going to place down a row of two of one and two iron bars on the sides here, come off these uh, dark oak wood corner stairs and dark oak wood slabs like that for the front there for your lights. And uh, kind of like the protection over the lights i guess light light guards i guess you can call them. um anyways once that's done we're gonna take our green stain clay we're gonna place down a uh we want to go ahead and place down a row of or my bad it's actually gonna be a green stain clay block in the middle followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair here on both sides coming off the dark oak wood upside down stair we're gonna place down a dark oak wood stair like this out to the side same thing over here so this stair in there is going to be turned into a corner stair Going back from the stairs on the sides here, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood upside down stair that comes off this stair, turning that into a corner stair. Same thing over here. And in between these stairs, we just want to place down a row of three of green stained clay across like so. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to take our green stained clay blocks, place down a row of three, followed by a second row of three. Uh, we're then going to go and grab ourselves some nether brick stairs. We're going to place down one and two nether brick stairs like this. And on the bottom of these nether brick stairs, we're going to place down one and two nether brick ups downstairs like that for the spare tire and i did forget to include that in the previous layer so i do apologize for uh missing that i just actually noticed that when we're putting the wheel on uh but yeah i'm gonna do that on both sides there for the spare tire but once that's done we're gonna place down no place down another row of three of green stain clay across the middle dark oak wood ups downstairs to both sides we then want to place down another row of three of green stain clay across the middle here we're gonna place down a spruce wood upside down stair again on both ends uh, when that's done, we're going to place down another row of three, green stained clay across, spruce wood, corner stair here on both ends. We're then going to place down a row of three, green stained clay across the middle again, dark oak wood upside down stair like that, facing toward the rear. Uh, we're then going to place down another row of green stained clay going back. Uh, this time, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this. Or, uh, my bad, it's a dark oak wood. Yeah, it's going to be a dark oak wood stair like this coming off of it. So, basically, facing this stair. Same thing over here. And we're also going to place down a sign on the side of the stair as well. So just like this on both sides. Now once that's done, we're going to go back from this stair here. We're going to place down a narrow dark oak wood upside down stairs. So we turn this into a corner stair. And we're going to do the same thing over here. 
And then from this stair here, we're going to place down one and a second uh, narrow brick, or sorry, a dark oak wood upside down stair on both sides here. So it's going to turn this into a corner stair. So you have a corner stair, corner stair, regular stair wrapping around here. And then in the very middle, we're just going to place down a spruce wood stair. Now around this uh, corner stair here, we're going to place down signs around it like this. Make sure you don't uh, type on the signs at all. And we're just going to wrap around like that for the back there. Uh, we then just want to go and grab ourselves a zombie head and place down a zombie head coming off this dark oak wood up down stair like this on the left side and left side only. With that all done, that is going to do it for layer number three. With that, let's move on to layer number four. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, we're going to start off with placing down a daylight sensor on top of this uh, dark oak wood up down stair, followed by a uh, wooden trap door to both sides that's closed like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a green carpet, place down a green carpet on top of those two uh, nether brick uh, top slabs on both sides like that for the front here. After that's done, we're going to take our dark oak with slabs, we're going to place down a row of three across and uh, make sure to keep closing those wooden trap doors that they keep popping up. Uh, we're then going to place down a wooden trap door here on both sides of this row of three of dark oak with slabs. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair here in the middle, followed by a uh, nether brick stair to both sides of it. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here and place down a zombie head at about a 45 degree angle on top of this uh, dark oak wood ups and down stair here, like that on both sides there. Uh, with that done, we're going to take our green stained clay and we want to go ahead and take our green stained clay, place down a row of three across, followed by a dark oak wood stair like this on both sides. Now over here on the right side of the vehicle, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. Over here on the left side, we're just going to go ahead and leave it blank like that. When that's done there, we're going to take our green stained clay. Uh, we're going to place down a green stained clay block here on both sides, coming back from this dark oak wood stair. And we want to place down a lever like this, coming off the green stained clay block flipped upward like that. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go take a green stained clay block, place down another one on both sides like this, going back. After that, we're going to go and place down a spruce wood plank on both sides, followed by a spruce wood stair like so. In between those spruce wood stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of green stained clay to fill that space in. And also coming off this spruce wood plank here on both sides, we're going to place down a tripwire hook. So just like that. When that's all done, we're going to take our green stained clay, place down a row of five all the way across here. We then want to place down a second row of five like this across. And then we're going to place down a third row of five across as well. On the very back here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, item frames. So we're going to go and grab item frames and also some red stained glass blocks. For this on the back here, we're going to place down a red stained glass block coming off this green stained clay block. We're going to go and place down a uh, red stained glass block in that item frame like so. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate uh, like this on this, uh, come off this green stained clay block, opened up toward it like so for the back tail lights there. In the very middle space, we're actually going to go ahead and replace this green stained clay block with a spruce wood stair facing that direction like so. And then we want to go ahead and just place down a uh, lever that's going to be coming off this green stained clay block over here to the right side and make sure it's facing upward like that. And uh, once that's all done, uh, the last thing for us to do is just to place down a stone button on this green stained clay block here. This is going to go on both sides like that for a bit of detailing. With that all complete, that is going to do it for layer number four. And with that, we can move on to layer number five. All right, guys, moved on to our next layer. We have layer number five. For layer five, we're going to go ahead and start off by grabbing ourselves some stone buns. And we're going to place down uh, one and two stone buns on these two green stained clay blocks up here right before the windshield. When that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green stained clay block with the back facing toward the middle like this. Uh, in between these stairs, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass block, a green stained clay block, and a light gray stained glass block like that for the windshield. Uh, on both sides here, on top of this uh, lever and going out to the sides, we're going to place down two uh, light gray stained glass panes going out to both sides. Over here on the left side of the vehicle, so this side over here, we're going to place down a sign coming off this uh, light gray stained glass uh, pane going toward the front. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down another brick fence post on top of this uh, with our skeleton skull. Uh, so it's a little bit different there on both sides, so make sure both sides are done correctly. After that's done, going back, we're going to go and take our light gray stained glass blocks. We're going to place down a row of five. That's going to go all the way across here. Um, so just like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair back on both sides and a row of three of green, green stained clay in between those dark oak wood slabs. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go and do another row. So dark oak wood stair again on both sides here and a row of three in between those dark oak wood stairs. Uh, once that's done on the sides here, we're going to place down one and two dark oak wood stairs going back, one and two over here as well, 
We want to go and then grab ourselves Bruce Wood planks, place down one and two, one and two, and then one and two green stain clay blocks down the middle. Uh, with that all uh, complete there, um, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to grab ourselves some item frames again. And we're going to go and then take a black wool block. And we're going to go ahead and place down two item frames on the sides of these two dark open stairs. And two black wool blocks in it to kind of create these little viewport uh, type designs. On the first uh, the first uh, item frame here, we're going to place down a sign on this dark open stair to kind of cover it up and make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, however, we're going to leave the last, the second one alone because we will have a smoked grenade special which kind of goes over it a little bit. So, uh, moving back here to this uh, rear section, we're going to place down a spruce wood slab in the center, followed by a dark oak wood slab to both sides. Now, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall and place down a mossy cobblestone wall on the very sides here in the corners. These are going to be the mounts here for the radio, ant radio antennas. And we then want to go ahead and go back and place down a narrow brick up downstairs on the side here. Uh, on the uh, front of the stair, or basically the back of it, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull going forward for the smoke grenade dispensers. And we're going to do the same thing here on both sides. So same thing over here. Um, upside down stair, which actually needs to be placed this way. Don't know what I'm doing. There we go. And just like that on both sides there. On the very back, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves zombie heads, place down one and two zombie heads, come off these two dark oak wood slabs. Uh, with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer uh, number five. And with that, we're going to move on to our last final layers. Uh, where we're going to go and move on to layer six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to put the top of the vehicle on with the turret and all that stuff, and also all of our little details and stuff like that. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Alrighty, guys, so going ahead and moving into our last final layers, we have layers six through nine. For these layers to begin with, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this dark oak wood stair, and we're going to go ahead and have it at about a 45 degree angle facing toward this uh, narrow brick fence post like this. Going back from the wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down an end rod, followed by a row of one and two narrow brick slabs back. On the side of these two narrow brick slabs, we're going to place down two uh, signs like this, and then a wither skeleton skull like that after that. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone buns. We're going to place down one and two stone buns like this and one and two over here as well. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves redstone comparators. We're going to place down a redstone comparator on top of those two narrow brick ups and down stairs. And then on top of these mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, one, two, three, and four iron bars going up for the radio antennas. And same thing over here, just like that. Once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and focus in on the tow launcher now. We're going to place down a spruce wood slab on this uh, middle like race thing must block in this row of three right here. We then want to go ahead and place down a uh, zombie head going toward the rear, and then a zombie head going toward both sides here, kind of on the coming off the sides here of this uh, spruce wood slab like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this like race thing must block. On top of this mossy cobblestone, we're going to place down a green stain clear block followed by one that goes forward. Coming off this green stink wood block, we're going to place down one and two mossy cobblestone walls to go forward. And then coming toward the back here, we're going to place down one and two uh, cobblestone walls going back. We're going to go and then take signs, place down signs on both sides of this cobblestone wall. And coming off the cobblestone wall like this. Also going toward the front here, we're going to do the same thing. So signs around these cobblestone walls on both ends. We're then going to go into our inventory, grab ourselves an item frame. And we are also going to need a black wool block. We're going to place down an item frame like this on the cobblestone wall and place down a black wool block in it on both ends like that. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a nether brick top slab and also a dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down a uh, dark oak wood upside down stair like this, followed by a nether brick top slab coming off that stair. On top here, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. Um, let me grab a mossy cobblestone wall. There we go. On top of this nether brick um, this uh, nether brick uh, slab there. We're going to go and then take signs and we're going to go and wrap signs around the cobblestone wall so right here on the sides and also on the side facing toward the front uh, come off the mossy cobblestone wall we're going to place down an item frame like this and in the item frame we're going to place down a black stained glass uh, block like that uh, for the sights there uh, once that's done we're going to place down a dark oak wood up down stair after the mossy cobblestone wall we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some skeleton skulls place down one and two coming off the sides here of these dark oak wood up down stairs on top of this dark oak wood ups, dark oak wood ups downstairs, we're going to place down a green carpet. And then we just want to place down a redstone repeater on top of this green stain clay block with the notches flicked out to the side. With that all complete, that's going to pretty much do it for the Otokar Cobra uh, with the tow missile launcher equipped on top. Uh, overall, really cool vehicle and a cool little addition. Actually, my bad, we are not quite done yet. I almost forgot. Uh, we do want to put some green carpet here 
on uh, these spaces here on top of kind of like the window blocks and stuff like that uh, to kind of close it up and uh, make it look a little bit uh, nicer and all that stuff. And I also placed down a green carpet on this green snake loop block there. Um, so some green carpet just kind of closes up from the top there, kind of create a little bit more roofing and stuff like that. Um, anyways, now we are done with the uh, Otokar Cobra tow launcher. Um, I do apologize for missing that real quick, that, the carpet edition there, but now go ahead and add it on, you'll be good to go. Uh, these uh, two designs are going to be really cool next to each other, going into a convoy or something like that. You have two different versions to play around with and uh, two new Turkish vehicles as well. Uh, so overall, really cool stuff. Hope you guys do enjoy the tutorial. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This being thing from the sign of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video, if this does are paying social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for in these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, your free user forever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 204 and I'll see you guys next time.